Looming out in the far southern Atlantic, an island. A country-sized island. But this island is moving. This is Iceberg A68A, and it is an enormous iceberg which carved off the Larsen Sea ice shelf in 2017. Researchers first noticed a rift in the Antarctic ice of the Larsen ice shelf in 2010, but it only started growing quickly in 2016. When the iceberg carved off the Larsen ice shelf in July 2017, it had an area of 5,800 square kilometers and weighed 1 trillion tons. After clearing the sea ice and getting out into the southern ocean currents, the movement of the large icebergs is relatively predictable. They go along with the currents. How far can the icebergs actually get? Well, the largest ones can actually get to the Falkland Islands and have managed to be sighted off South America and New Zealand in extreme cases. For this iceberg, it's unsure how far it will get. Partially, it depends as to whether it will become grounded near South Georgia and whether it will break up around that time too. The sooner it breaks up, the more rapidly it will melt as it heads into the warmer oceans towards the north. Because this iceberg is so huge, researchers think it's likely to survive for 8 to 10 years. These massive icebergs are called white wanderers. The movement of iceberg A68A A was not un unexpected. In fact, it was predicted some time ago. Here, researchers used a finite element sea ice ocean model. The last iceberg to ground itself near South Georgia was iceberg A38. But there's an important difference between A38 and A68A, and that's that A38 was actually thicker than A68A. And that means that the amount of ice below water will be less for A68A. This means that it will likely ground closer to shore if it grounds at all. At the time of carving, at least, the ice keel depth the depth below water was a bit less than 200 meters, and presumably it will have melted a bit since then, so perhaps it's a bit less now. A38, on the other hand, was from the Ron ice shelf in 1998, and in that case the ice keel depths were greater than 300 meters, so it was significantly thicker. The issue is that if it gets grounded near the island, it can cause disruption to the local wildlife by interrupting their paths to getting food for their foraging in the food-rich ocean. And there's a danger that if the iceberg gets stuck, it could be there for 10 years, and an iceberg that will have massive implications for where the land-based predators are able to forage. The actual distance that they have to travel to get their food, which is fish and krill, it really is important. And so if they have to take a huge detour, it's gonna really impact their survivability. The currents might take it on, a sort of strange loop around the southern end of South Georgia, and that will end it spinning it along the edge of the continental shelf and back off to the northwest. Researchers suggest that this is truly a spectacular iceberg because it's remained in one piece. That is not usual and considered quite remarkable. The expectation is because it has fractures across it and because it's going to be entering warmer waters, that it will break up at some point after or near South Georgia as it heads northwards. We shall see. So I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know if you want to see more about this iceberg. I think I'm going to do some more videos as it gets closer. And it's already pretty close. This is one of the latest imageries from Sentinel-3. The distance away from South Georgia is now only about 300 kilometers. So exciting stuff. See you in the next one.